Carrie Shakes. What's going on? I'm here. You're here. You're good. I'm here. At my Had a good day today training. Very good day. Insightful. Insightful for you? Seeing what I get up to? Well, you'll see me work. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm You're here. You're not teamed with me. Yeah. With weather camps. True, true. But, um, it seems like there's determination in them eyes that I can see the, the focus, even on the little light days. Pretty much like today, it's not that light, but that focus of you need to get the work in for next year. Definitely. I mean, I've been to Olympic Games in the past. I've been to World Champs in the past. I mean, I was close enough to meddling at the World Championships in 2013. It didn't go my way, but I know what it took to get there. Mm. Pure hard work. And, um, yeah, because your last race was what? 2013. Yeah. So that's like almost two, over. To, that's like two years ago. So now your next race is gonna be emotional. It's, yeah. But I feel good feeling. I mean, most of the time throughout my rehab, every milestone that I make, every progression that I make, you know, it means a lot to me. Yeah. Because I know where I was before when I was unable to walk, when I had no strength in my leg. When I had muscle. Yeah, you couldn't jump or nothing. I couldn't, exactly. I run with pain, so you know when you're at point nine, you feel ready. I wake up, I wake up in the morning, I was looking forward to training. It's like I'm a new person in terms of I appreciate the gift that I have and I can't wait to fulfill my potential. So do you think we ever see you back in the four hurdles? No. You won't, you won't see me four hurdles again. It's a shame because, you know, I had a huge amount of potential in it. I do, I did enjoy doing the hurdles, but for the nature of my injury, it's not really the, what was the best thing. Is it, is it crazy just thinking I ain't going to be able to do the, the event that got me where I am? Is it kind of strange even saying that? No, I'm not, I'm not even thinking like that because I know I can run up to 400 metres. Yeah. I've done, I've run 400 in the past and it's like, I can't dwell on the 400 meter hurdles. Yeah. You know, I ran a very good time at it. I could have probably run better, but it, it hasn't happened. I mean, you went to, you're quite high up in the yeah. rankings though, you're like, you Second know. in the world in 2013. Yeah, so. So, you know, I know my. You, you, you've done that bit now, so you're I've pretty, done that yeah. now. It's no just, more hurdle sessions. Yeah. No, not, none of that. Needs. So it's a new, it's a, it's a new Perry for you know start fresh. You've done that, so you can remember that. You can watch all the videos on YouTube, whatever. But you're thinking this is a new journey, so new challenges because you're gonna race obviously different people now. So yeah. you're gonna have to learn. Better you know. action shots. You're going over like last hurdle. It does look kind of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, lactic and hurdle doesn't oh. really mix. I mean, lactic and 400 don't mix, but you know, looking forward to some better action shots and knowing that now you can challenge the girls in the 400. Do you think the challenge is easier or is it harder? It's going to be just as hard, I believe. Trying to make that, that top three, that medal. Yeah, it's, it's not going to be easy. It wasn't easy doing 400 me though. Hmm. In life, when you want to be the best at something, I don't think it's easy anyway. Nothing comes easy, otherwise everybody would be doing it. Yeah. And as that, do you think your coach now is pushing you even harder or has he got softy softy in his old age? Uh, Chris is always <laughs> very I know he's powerful. there, don't, don't try to sweep him up. <laughs> it's all about the quality. Yeah. That's what it's going to be about. I've done the sweaty training. Yeah, yeah. The yeah now it's about quality sessions. How's it going to benefit? With Rio coming up, I know you must have your eyes definitely on one of those spots. So, do you think about it a lot, or do you think about it? Uh, I'll wait until next year, or how do you process it the mind? It crosses my mind now and again. But I've got all, loads of other stuffs happening, so it's, it doesn't. It, I'm not obsessed with it. Yeah. When it came to 2012, I remember I wasn't obsessed with it. I was just doing what I usually do: turn up to my training sessions. You know, 
do, be, be the best that I can be in training, always pushing myself. And then you have you got to think sensibly as well as an athlete. If you, I ask myself the question, is that the, is that what I should be doing? Yeah. For yeah. instance, if I want to go do an activity, like go out with friends and stuff, I'm like, is that the best thing I should be doing? So then questions always cross my mind, whether it be a world champs year, Olympic year, European, just just in that, yeah. as a professional athlete. And that's what I do, and it has got me to good places in the past. So do you think um, the talent out there now is going to be worried about a new challenger in the shape of Perry? Do you think they're thinking, hey, we got this? New girl coming through. New girl? She's not a new girl. She's been here all the time. She's been here. She's been there. She's been there. She, just she was on vacation for two years. Vacation done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah, so the holiday is over. Now it's time to get the work in. And it's, um, but I've been working. I've been rehabbing. I've been working. So it's that like annual leave. Your annual leave's now oh. done, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's time to get back in, you know. Because I think um, I think the, the track the track car um, the track people kind of miss obviously the shakes the shakedown and all that. So how do you think the new? Because there'll be some people that hasn't seen you run, and they'll be thinking, what um, can Perry do in 2016 and beyond? Because it's now European year, and you got World Indoors as well. So you're thinking, have you thought about anything you're gonna do? Or you're focusing totally on totally Rio. Yeah. Dates are not set as as yet. But I will let my followers in that know. Yeah. When I'm about to bless the show. When you're about to step out, would you open up with an eight or would you open <laughs> <laughs> You have to ask coach that. I don't know what he's got in mind for me. <laughs> so if we say an eight hundred for, you know, for the first one, just to get you seasoned, you know, just to get you that <laughs> But with the quality of my group as well. I'm sure I could do that testing training. I think in terms of competition, you don't need to see me do 400. Yeah, so you're not going to... So what, yeah, you can probably step down to a couple twos, or you know, twos. some twos, yeah, you know, you can warm up with some ones, you never know, some street race. Speed in the legs, yeah, of course. You know what I mean, yeah, so... Because with the 60s, it's a bit too quick. You know, right now, he doesn't know... Uh, I was a contender in the 60. Don't underestimate his legs, you know. Contender for what? Marlon Champs. <laughs> <laughs> That's boring. <laughs> so, <laughs> is that very good? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, no one has endorsed qualification. We're not talking about... It's all about the building. We're not talking about the heat, you know. The building block. We know you can do a little 7 4, 7, you know, 5. There you yeah. go, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you know that, you know there's some, there's some juice in them bow legs, it's alright. <laughs> right, that's an advantage, you know. Isn't it? Keep me my bow legs. Yeah, they, you know, the bow legs can get you down the track quite quick. But we focus on the two and the eights for now. That, but I asked someone this the other day, what is the hardest time in the rehab? Doing it or thinking about when am I getting back? But a lot of time it crossed my mind because it's like, when I'm going to be back, when I'm going to be running. But deadlines change, that's what I noticed during my rehab. So there was a point where I stopped asking them questions. Mm. Same way I didn't ask, this is the same way I didn't ask the question, how long would it be take for me to return? Mm. Nobody knew. No, oh, yeah. This injury is like, it's not, it's not popular. Not much we should have done on it. True. So the hardest thing I think was kind of not knowing. However, every step and every progress that I made, I looked like oh, I couldn't do this before. Yeah, yeah. So that kept me going. So it's that little all, step. I'm, all I've known is hard work anyway, so I'm always pushing myself in my rehab. I hear that. So it's that one more question is that now what message have you got for your competitors next year? If you have to think of this is your final fight. May with a fight, box office. What would you say for your promotional video to say, I'm coming next year? What would you tell your competitors? Um, I'm 
listen, I'm not one to talk trash. I'm one who lets the running do the talking. So I ain't gonna say much on the matter. Just know that we, to everybody, any any event, it's not about doing all the talking. You gotta let your running do the talking.